Mr. Addressed in Stone. So according to you, America's through. America's through. We, Done. Uh, Over with. Is there any way that we can save America? The greatest American alive. My personal opinion that if the black man can save America, do you think it's possible? It's like everybody got an asshole, right? You can wish it, you can hope for it, but just look at <laughs> this guy. Just um, economically wise, uh, social wise, you can see the disconnect. You can see where it's heading down a, a crazy path of of nothing but destruction. And on a on a economically level, if you play the game, if if America's playing the game like how we see it, you could tell that the the scriptures is adding up. So based on prophecy, America is doomed. Yes. It's my personal opinion that the black man can save America. I think that we can save America. By doing what? By telling the truth. About Tell the truth and get some power. I think that if the human person works together, uses their thoughts, that we can change this whole situation. We can change the trajectory of America. What are we telling the truth about? That just happens. People do bad things all the time. Right. And depending on who you are, man, Genghis Khan killed 10% of the world population. Mm -hmm. It just happens. Whoever has power, they go to war. When they go to war, they wage war on other nations, and other nations get destroyed. This is, this is life. My thing is, they should be held accountable for that, right? By, no, by no, whom? By whom? Yes. I would say a, a righteous power structure. Righteousness depends on who holds the power. Right. That's a big thing. Like if I got the gun and you ain't got no gun, you think that I'm you think I'm a bully. It depends on if you're doing bullyish ways. Like you just mad because I got a gun. So I got I got I sort of have muscles. People look at me and be like, oh my goodness, he might be a bully. They look at you as an intimidating presence when you have any type of power. And people who don't have no power, they always try to rebel. So you saying saving America? Can a black man save America? Can the black man save America? So who is America ran by though? Because Whoever America is run by, you think they're going to let the black man save it? They've been they've been doing whatever they're doing anyway. The whole world is based on stories. If you tell a beautiful story, they will respond to a beautiful story. If if you the person who holds the pen, they control history. Right. So so who who controls history right now? The person who tells the best story possible. Best story possible. What is that story today? Right now, I think America is the most best place on earth. And I'm biased because I live here. And I don't, I can look at all the transgressions from all the nations. We can start from, from the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. People go to war. That's what human beings do. Right. And if we don't expect to go to war and we think that the most powerful people are always the bad people. And I'm saying that that's not the case. So what are we saving America from? Who, who messed up America? Now we have to say, can this place be saved? In my opinion, whoever started this place messed it up. So my thing is, they're still in the power seat. And I, I, don't, I don't believe those people who started this place is going to just let the so-called black man save this place. Life is all about evolution. We evolve, language evolves, and I think the way that we interact with each other should also evolve. Yeah, but it's today, right? Right. We ain't seeing none of that. So how long you think this place... I mean, and don't get me wrong... Again, this is a nice thing to, to get along with everything. Right. right. But history shows you that's not possible. I'm not naive. I know that people are going to continue to go to war, but I think that you should put forth the effort to save this thing. I mean, there's so many wonderful things that happen in America. People tell beautiful stories. When you look at the news, the news does not tell you the beautiful stories that happen. They tell you the bad things that happen. And I think that's the disconnect in the world. All we want to do is report on bad things. And I want to report on some good things. So how can we overthrow that? How are we going to make them tell the good stuff? And it seems like when they tell the good stuff, it's about a little cat being rescued. Not saying that that's not good, but real good things that, that we do, man, black man. As a, as a black man in America, I come and I tell you that you are the greatest American alive, and I think that gives you absolute power. Once you start looking at yourself as a powerful person, that gives you the ability to have powerful thoughts. Once you have powerful thoughts, you have a powerful message. You have a powerful message. That message goes viral. That's the thing right now, going viral. And we're going to go viral by telling the truth and how this thing can be saved. There ain't no doom and gloom. It's doom and gloom because I can sit here and, and be in a little thing, but it's bigger than that. It's bigger than, than America. America has too much blood on, on, on her hands to... Everything in the world is based on human beings. You had All you need is one strong person. All you got to do is be the strongest addressed in stone possible. Man, that's a powerful name, addressed in stone. I thank, thank you so you. much for being an entrepreneur. Right now, we can carve our names in history by being great. And I think that's amazing. Carving a name in history is just pretty much carving our name in people's mentals, memories. Nah, or... it's, it's doing the work that shows them that this is possible. Having the conversation that says that we can change this nation makes it possible to change the nation.
action. If you don't create the thought in the air, if you don't put that out, then no one's ever going to receive that information. Mm. I don't think the American person, the average American person is not thinking about how to save America right now. That's not on their thought process, not on the front of their consciousness. And I'm like, I need you guys to wake up. I don't want you to be woke and start talking about victimhood. A lot of people who talk about this woke ideology, they say, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. I ain't no dang on victim. I'm a free autonomous entity that can make decisions to come and be great. And I'm saying, go be great, man. Go be great, man. And once you make the decision to go be great, oh my goodness, everything changes. Once you change your thoughts, everything looks different. Yeah, you have to change your thoughts. But the thing is, there's it, it, a lot of cloudiness around us. And again, I'm that not saying that we're it's, it's, not it's going to change our thoughts. It's just for the black man to save America. We was brought over here on another mission. We have to save ourselves. Can a black man save the black man, the so-called black man? You say you want like the for the black man to save himself. So yeah. many, so many black men have done the work. We discount Frederick Douglass. We discount Booker T. Washington. We discount black Americans who have done the work to make sure that we had a place in this place. Like we have a place in America right now. If you look at any media source, there is going to be a, a representation of a, the black person because of the of the, our forefathers, the people who fought for to tell our story. That's happened. That's our reality. Black people have fought in every American war. Every American war. Right. This is ours. This is our birthright. And the, the moment we decide right. to about that the moment we decide to embrace and inherit our birthright then everything looks different mm. but we have to have a message of positivity and, and inclusivity man i think farrakhan is one of the greatest speakers one of the greatest orators that ever existed mm. and when he had the platform to talk to the whole entire world he talked about doom and gloom and they received that information based on doom and gloom they was like oh my goodness black men are coming to destroy america based on rhetoric and i'm saying that based on our rhetoric the black man is coming to save america I would say the black man is not going to save America, but there is going to be a black man that destroy America, though. What black man is that? It's who the world called Jesus Christ. Whoa, Jesus Christ is going to destroy America? Yes. Tell me, why would, Je why would Jesus Christ destroy America? Because this is not the homeland. This is not, his, this is not even his homeland, and a lot of wickedness is going on in this place. I would like to say cheers to salvation. Yes. Cheers to the so-called black man. <laughs> cheers to the American. What is an American? What is, what is that name? The yeah. geographic location that was founded by a map maker, America Amerigo Vespucci. What was his nationality? He was a person. <laughs> I think he was an Italian map maker, yes. An Italian map maker who named this place after him. Yes. So why would I call myself, I'm not of him. Why would I call myself him? Why would I take on his name? Go back. 300 years, go back 350 years, however long ago it was, mm -hmm. and go make the map. I'm saying, <laughs> my thing is, why can't you just live in the land based on really your, 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 your fathers? Because most people don't know who their daddy is. Mama's be out here slanging that hot cookie to whomever is going to hit that hot cookie. And then you come home and kiss your baby on the forehead and say, hey, baby, I just came home from work. <laughs> and she smelled like a whole nother man. Mm. But you can't smell it because you're still musty from being outside doing the work. Doing the work. I'm telling you, bro. And so if we have honest conversations about the impact, geographic location determines who you are based on, on current ideology. If you're born in a place, then you are of that region. If I was born, in, in again, in Japan... Would that make me Japanese? You are a D town representative. Detroit is in the building. 313, yes. 313, yes. Detroit day, is definitely in the building. Yes. Okay. You repping it on your head. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> as, as a so called black man, as a so called black man, if I was born in China, would that make me Chinese or just a Chinese citizen? If your ancestors were lived, if your ancestors lived in China and you grew up in China, you would be a Chinese person. Chinese citizen. Right now, if a Mexican comes to America right now, they and if they're born in America, they are American. An American. Yes. So they take on the name of this person that named America after him. Self. Every place on the planet is named after somebody. I'm just saying. So that makes you you. Your nationality don't determine where you, what piece of land you you um. Whatever geographic place that you're born, that's who you are. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Wherever you're born, that's who you are. Well, and that's the thing. I guess we have to agree to disagree. I don't. I don't mind disagreeing. I think that's yeah. what. And and see, and that's the place where we come in to save this place. We won't even agree to disagree. We won't even engage in the conversation to create a better story. I guess we got to talk. We got to talk more. I mean, we talk about a lot of bullshit. We need to talk about 
heavy stuff. Amer- Americans talk, black Americans talk so much about doom and gloom and about things that didn't happen to them. Bro, don't, I, I, I think it's important. Stop talking about things you didn't experience. If you didn't have water hoses pulled on you, don't talk about what happened two generations before you. Well, the thing is, shit is still happening to us. I mean, ain't nobody having no water hoses pulled on them. Man, well, it's not the water hose. It's the taser. It's the gun. Stop committing crimes. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Don't commit no crimes, right? Stop committing crimes. Don't commit no crimes and that shit won't happen to you. Now, what about all the people that, that wasn't committing crimes and it still happened to them? That's pretty fucked up. Statistically, Statistically. It, ha- it happens to everybody. It happens to white folks. It happens to brown folks. Yeah, it happens yeah, to black yeah. folks. It happens to everyone in this geographical location because human beings are flawed. We like to we like to associate... Si- I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm not supposed to do that. No, you're fine. We're, having, we're, we're engaging in, in no. mental jousting, verbal sparring. Um, um, interrupting you. You're not interrupting me. We're having a, we're having a great conversation. I know you were talking about it. Man, dive in. Uh, but you was, I, in the, you was in the middle of thought. I will acquiesce to your greatness. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I will acquiesce to your greatness because you're the greatest American alive. We're fighting for freedom. And if we don't tell the story that we are in a war right now, it's not guns. It's not a gun war. It's an ideology war. We're fighting for thoughts right now. And who the person who has the best thoughts right now will be powerful. And I think that having thoughts about unity are the most powerful thoughts in America. And I'm telling you that you working with me, what's working together is going to change the narrative of America by first accepting our responsibility, our civic duty as citizens of this great nation. As who? Citizens of this great nation. Yes. You're just a citizen here. That's fine with me. That's not fine with me because I'm not a citizen here. I was just born here. Whoa. I I understand where my, because remember we was brought over here. Let's say, let's say we are from Africa. Well, well, fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a citizen here. I'm just a citizen here. You know what I'm saying? My my homeland is is, is it ain't Africa, but you get what I'm saying. I'm not I'm st- I'm just a citizen here. But you live here. That don't mean I'm going to represent it knowing the history that happened. Hey, I live in the projects right now. I'm not a, this is a temporary location. I can move if I choose to move, but if I don't move, I'm a citizen of the of this area. Right? A detail representative. But, but but guess what? American Whoa! Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. This hat says the greatest American alive because I believe that every person in this geographic location is great. And if you stand up and embrace your responsibility, to come do the work. Then, oh my goodness, <laughs> that makes you great. Yes. You have to. You have to clean up your house. And right now, this is our home. This is our house, and we and we refuse to clean it up. And that no. and that's a problem. This is not our house. You live uh, here. You for, as far as community wise, yes. Why wouldn't I want my my community to look good? So yes, that's now that's just a, a individual thing. I don't even mean politicians. I mean the people. The Poli- people. Politicians are elected officials of the people. Like right. we we elect politicians based on geographical location, based on Texas, based on Florida, based on whatever state you live in. Those are your representatives. So what's up with the politicians not making um, America? Their constituents aren't holding them accountable. Man, if, if I don't tell my governor what I want to see happen, he going to fuck it up. If I don't tell my president what I want to see happen, he going to fuck it up. And when, and when they make bad decisions, if I don't rebel, if, if there's no dissent, then there is no change. And I'm not, I'm not seeing no change. There has to be accountability because Americans are telling terrible stories. Black men are telling terrible stories. And historically, black men have continued to tell terrible stories. Oh my goodness, something bad happened to me. And they tell that story and run with it. Why won't you tell me about the good things that happened to you? Why won't you tell me about the good things that happened to you? Probably because the bad things pay Man. in the society that we're that we're we're currently living in. People don't want to hear about you 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 know being successful. They want to hear about your downfalls the Con- majority of the time. Controversy sells most certainly. Yeah, so drama sells. Man, hey, the drama of being a free person in America will also sell. The drama of fighting for freedom in America will also sell. Man, if you tell if you tell a dynamic story, then it's going to sell, period. Mm. But what kind of storyteller are you? How how dynamic are you with your words? How dynamic are you with your expressions? Can you evoke emotion? Can you get a person to feel your story and want to act? Action. Life is about that action. Action. If you can't get people to do anything, then hell, you're stagnant. And stagnation is death. Right. And I'm all about progress. And progress has to come with having a conversation about about doing things that are going to change the world that we live in in a positive way. Definitely. That shit's exciting, bro. I understand. The thing is, again, it sounds great, but I don't see nobody out there 
taking them actions. Because these people are on TikTok. They TikToking and twerking right now. Right. All you all you wonderful women out there TikToking and twerking, man, that ain't getting you no freedom. You're talking about sexual liberation. I already wanted your pussy when you have on jeans and a t-shirt. But when you show me that beautiful cat, I just smile and keep watching because I'm getting sexual content for free. Right. I would pay $14.95. I do pay $14.95 for a subscription. I do. I do. Okay. Well, say, you still pay for pornography? Hell yeah, because I want the highest quality possible. <laughs> I don't want no <laughs> thoughts on my timeline, baby. Right. I want women who know how to professionally throw that thing in a circle. Yes. Yes. But I'm watching amateurs throw that thing in the circle talking about this is power. There ain't no power. So again, this thing is not getting no better. It's just no hope for America. This is the most safest, most bestest time in the history of human existence. And we won't even embrace that. For who? For everybody. For you. Not me. Boy, you are. A every, every, time, every time I go outside, is a risk. Of what? What are, you, what are you risking? Hell, let's start. My people. Go ahead. Right? What are you risking? Tell me. Risking my life every day. How? By going outside because you just never know if you're coming back. What's going to happen to you? Who knows? I mean, I can get into it. That's a terrible story to tell, Troy. It is, but it's reality. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it is reality. Ain't no cop finna gun me down for doing the, for doing anything. I mean, you know why? Because I'm a, I'm an intelligent I'm, person. <laughs> again, yes, I, I, I hope, yes, yes. Uh, but I'm not saying that, I'm, that's always gonna be the case. If a man, if, if a police pull me over, I'm not finna sit there and start arguing with the police. That man has guns. I'm fing, I'm going to comply, or else I'm going to die. And if you don't accept the fact that you, if you don't comply to the power structure, then something bad is going to happen to you. Right. I'm so sick. Oh my goodness. I'm so sick and tired of weak people who refuse to fight back and they won't comply either. Either you fight for freedom or you die being a victim. Do you want to die being a victim? I don't want to die being no victim. No. If we don't tell the story on how to get free, liberation is going to be liberation will be exceptionally hard. Right. It will be. I understand. Now, that's not the only way though. You know what I mean? I mean it, it can happen multiple ways. I'm just saying that the the point of you waking up, got to go outside, you just never know if you're coming back or not. You know what I mean? For bubble heads, you ain't no bubble head. <laughs> <laughs> it's um accidents, freaks accidents. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm the just saying the, the general thing is. The most dangerous, the most dangerous activity in America is driving a car. That is the most dangerous activity in America. More people die in car accidents than anything else in America. You drive? No. <laughs> 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 yes, I drive sometimes, okay. but most of the time I ride that good old metro. You ride the good the metro <laughs> rail, the metro oh, the, no, the metro bus. The bus, bro. You, you still dependent on somebody else man they got their your your life in their hands you know what i mean hey, if the metro, i'd rather if, have mine if mine. the metro bus gets hit by a car guess what's gonna happen what i'm gonna go uh follow a class action lawsuit and i'm gonna get paid hey and, and hope and hope and hope and, <laughs> let's just hope that's the outcome the shit blow up you know what i'm saying and hey there you go Man, it's gonna get extremely hot in here. I'm extremely hot in here. It's getting hot in here. It's, it's pretty, you know why? Because we're telling the truth, man. Yes. It gets hot when it gets hot when you're passionate. When when you're telling the truth, excuse me. When you're telling the truth, people don't like the truth. Can't, without friction, there can be no progress. Mm -hmm. If there's no resistance, we can't be strong. That's the process of being strong. The the black American person has gone through so much resistance. We're strong as a motherfucker. We are, but we refu we refuse to embrace the fact that we are strong. We keep on throwing up this victimhood mentality stuff, and it's destroying us. Where are the Where are the leaders at? Or or it don't even have to be leaders. It's the fathers, the uncles, the, you know. Because you have the again, opportunity right now on that microphone to be a leader. And where are you leading your people to? Oh, I mean, I mean personally, I would hope I lead my people to some 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 money how by, by telling them hey do this do that is um, if you want to what you know is mean? what is this tell me what the this is oh, what is the uh, this that's going to get them some money like like landscaping car washing address painting the most the most profitable thing in america is the government they make more money than anybody in america i think our budget is something like seven trillion dollars you know the budget or the debt? The debt is like thirty trillion dollars. Right. So that ain't that ain't cool. <laughs> that's that's a that's another story in itself. Like the economic the economic structure in the other places is not. America is a Ponzi scheme. That's a fact. America is a Ponzi scheme. They're over here moving money here, moving money there. There is no money. It's all computer generated algorithms that are telling us what money is. It's money is a bartering chip.
The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.